Okay, Fruit Boss. So this is a second video for Kate Flowers. If you haven't seen the initial video, I made that yesterday. So just go and fly over there, check that one out and come back here. So this video was actually uploaded by Kate Flowers. I say that in quotations because this seems to be a fake account because she has actually deleted this video. And I just found this video this morning and I'm like, oh, okay. So her Raw to 4 weight gain video is essentially still up even though she deleted it. It was uploaded in 2016 by some other individual, I, sh I assume. So we're going to check that out and we're going to bring clarity to this si situation because Raw to 4 was definitely misrepresented by Kate here. And it's important that I address this because this video was quite popular at the time. You know, a lot of that, a lot of them were, and um, it's still in people's heads, you know, the wrong information, <laughs> misrepresentation. So we're going to get into that and I'm going to clarify things here. Is Raw to 4 making you fat? Well, I'm sure by now you know that you're not alone. Okay, so that intro, that intro, I don't know, just the way she says it, it's like, is Raw to 4 making you fat? Almost like she has an agenda from the beginning, you know? And like, you have to put yourself in my position as the creator of the Raw to 4 lifestyle. It really is so disappointing to me to see individuals misrepresent the lifestyle, drag it through the mud, and not even take any personal responsibility, you know, for their past that they were bringing to this lifestyle. So, anyway, sorry, I was <laughs> to stop it, but I was just a bit triggered. I think that there's. I don't even know, countless, maybe hundreds of videos of girls talking about how Raw Till 4 made them fat. Here's my- Okay, so, all right. Why do you think that is? Oh, for a beginning, for a start, hundreds, I think that is a gross exaggeration, but there was a lot, okay, there was a lot. But why do you think that is? Think about it. Raw to 4 went viral in 2016. I reached thousands and thousands of- and thousands of women, like a lot, okay? Professional surfers were posting about it, um, Olympic, Olympic athletes, um, a lot of the top female YouTubers, in, an incredible amount of individuals jumped on Raw to 4. So, of course, there's going to be an increased number of like disgruntled users, let's say, um, of the lifestyle, okay, of the diet. But that doesn't mean that um, Raw to 4 is responsible, you know, for making them fat or for anything really, because you have to also take into account these are anecdotal. These are individuals making videos on the internet. We can't verify anything they say. But at the same time, yes, 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 you can gain weight initially on Raw to 4. I did for the first couple of years, my weight went up and down before it stabilized. And you can see for 10 plus years, I've been the same weight and I was on Raw to 4 for many years. So yes, this can happen, of course, because of your past. Raw to 4 didn't make you fat. You made yourself gain weight from your past history of under eating, semi starvation, we'll talk more about it. My story. Here's my little disclaimer, and this is all I'm going to say for a disclaimer. One, I do not hate freely in the slightest at all, not even a little bit. And two, I was not following Raw Till 4 a hundred percent to the T. I um, da -da. okay, so we just she wasn't even following. <laughs> she wasn't. This is maybe why she deleted it eventually, but still, like I said, it got quite popular. Uh, she probably didn't want me to make a response maybe, but she wasn't even following Raw to 4. I was still drinking alcohol at the time. Oh. Some days I definitely had higher fats and salts, although I did what? keep those low for the most okay. part, but I wasn't following it 100%. Um... Well, you weren't doing Raw to 4 then, so this whole video is pointless. Like, I shouldn't even watch any of this video because Kate Flowers never did Raw to 4. She was drinking alcohol. <laughs> like, seriously, this is, of course I don't recommend that. It's a protoplasmic poison. You know, it kills cells in your body. I'm not going to recommend alcohol. That's obviously going to affect your health. This is bizarre. Why did she make this video? And I mean, like, I know why she did it because it was trending at the time. Even her partner made one. You know, they both made one. It's like, okay, you can see what's happening, right? Or I don't have anything vindictively against Raw Till 4. It just did not work for me. And I tried. Hang on. You didn't do Raw Till 4. 
Kate, you did not do Raw till four. So please, this feels weird that I'm talking to her, her like, like I'm talking to her directly, but like, this is how I feel. I know this video is from 2016, but you know, she did actually put this out and it did go, you know, pretty viral. So you didn't do it though. You didn't do Raw till for over two years. It's not like I gave it a small little <laughs> shot, little short run time period and it didn't work. You didn't do it. Though. I was doing Raw till four for a long time. Not only. This is so strange to me because she just said she wasn't doing Raw till four. And now she's saying she, she did do Raw till four. Like, can you see the problem here and see how easily misrepresented the actual Raw till four lifestyle that does not recommend alcohol in a higher fat, so what she was saying, she was doing other things that weren't Raw till four. So uh, yeah. it did not work for me, but it also didn't work for a few of the people around me, including my girlfriend and my mom and a couple of my friends. And like, <laughs> and like and this whole thing of like, it didn't work for me. So it's important to note here that the benchmark that she is using and that her mother and her partner used as working is weight loss. You know, they treated it like a weight loss diet. As you heard, Kate didn't even do raw till four, but anyway, she's jumping on the wagon here. So they treated it like a weight loss diet, like a fad instead of the lifestyle that it is. It is a lifestyle. It's not a weight loss diet. And I, I try my best to communicate that, especially in the book as well, you know, but obviously it went over the heads of some individuals who just jumped on just to lose weight has officially been three months since I went vegan and I went on a raw till four style diet simultaneously. And I am never, never, never going back to an animal product diet as long as I live. Every month just gets better and better. I get happier. I mean, everything is just improving. I just hit milestones every month and I'm so happy with this, with this diet. I just, I will never eat any other way. Unless you are some sort of athlete eating bananas, dates, potatoes, <laughs> rice, and pasta as your main food groups, food sources is not, not only a recipe for weight gain. Okay. So, um, <laughs> unless you are an athlete, you can't eat bananas. You can't eat bananas, you can't eat dates, you can't eat rice like the, the leanest cultures in the world have been eating for thousands of years. You can't eat rice, it's going to make you fat. Um, pasta, come on, it's a high carbohydrate food. They don't contain a lot of fat, so they aren't going to make you fat, okay? Yes, calories, if you've been under eating, you've been starving yourself like these girls, dieting like Kate was, she was anorexic, she had an eating disorder before the lifestyle, she admits that, she used to be a ballerina, so then when you start to eat freely, yes, you can gain weight, adaptive thermogenesis, for sure. So I was definitely, give or take, like 15 to 20 pounds heavier in these clips here, I was smashing in over 3,000 calories pretty much every single day. I was coming from a place I feel of extreme hunger because I restricted so heavily in the past that I feel like I needed to go through this full year of just doing raw till four to the T and really just smashing it in like unlimited carbs. Like I ate so much refined sugar and fruit, like pretty much lunch and breakfast and lunch every single day. I really smashed it in hard and this did lead to a little bit of weight gain, but I feel like it was healthy for me. I was mentally okay with that. Like I just wanted something that made me feel good and I just wanted to enjoy the food I was eating and this did lead to a small amount of weight gain. Now I'm 15 to 20 pounds lighter and I got to a point in this lifestyle where it no longer felt good to be eating over 3000 calories. I feel like my hunger levels kind of leveled out throughout this lifestyle and that's why people just don't need to rush it like you need to go through that period where you refeed your body if you're coming from a restrictive past you know I had to go through it and everyone's experience is different some people don't even gain weight this is my story what happened with me on raw till four this is kind of again I will remind you she wasn't on raw till four but she said she <laughs> okay what anyway. I looked like when I first found Freely's videos Okay, so this is what she looked like, 116 pounds. We, we don't know if that's how much she weighed. We don't know, but that's what she's telling us. So remember that is, is anecdotal, 2013. I remember taking a picture of myself this day and thinking that I 
didn't realize how I had gotten to this point. I was eating a lot of avocados, high fats. I was vegetarian, but more pescatarian, some fish, some eggs, some avocados, some, you know, goat's milk cheese, stuff like that. So I. Oh, okay. So she was, so she was vegetarian. So she came to veganism. Like I thought via my influence, she jumped on. I think that's fantastic. But yeah, so obviously she was unhealthy when she came to the lifestyle and she was carrying extra weight but she might have been on the gain at that point she probably was um restricting you know from when she was restricting from being a ballerina from dieting semi-starvation eating disorders all right so she was probably on the gain initially obviously did not start this looking my best i have been up and down in weight my whole life um i've had yep. really really skinny times some of those times were definitely due to eating disordered ways and habits okay. but a lot of the times i was just so just keep that in mind okay if you're coming from if your weight is up and down fluctuating like my was my my weight fluctuated for a decade or something up and down up and down all the time it was so incredibly hard for me to try and stabilize it because I wasn't eating my frugal for diet I wasn't eating a fruit-based diet so naturally I wasn't experiencing a balanced balanced weight I started at about 116 and that's what I am in these photos for me the first two weeks mind you this is two and a half years ago that I started this the first two weeks I ate fully raw because it was right when freely right before I think freely ever put out cooked food videos so I was watching freely and fully raw Christina okay. and I was eating 100% raw and I actually dropped four or five pounds within the first couple of weeks easy okay so that's probably because she was under eating or it could have been due to the fact that she had bigger dumps literally bigger dumps yeah she probably had some big dumps I mean they can weigh I can do a dump that is you know a couple of kilos all right so this is something that could have happened to her lost water weight also She's probably under eating, right? From just from knowing Kate a little bit better now, she was probably under eating and also water loss from reducing the amount of sodium she was. No consuming. problem. And I was thinking, wow, this is awesome. This is really going to work. I'm eating a lot of food. I'm feeling great and I'm losing weight. It's wonderful. And then I saw a video on Freely eating a whole entire bowl of pasta and I saw her body and what she looked like. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I want that. Who doesn't want to look like that? So I was like, if I can eat pasta and look yes. like that, I'm going to eat pasta because. She was hungry. She was hungry. You know, she saw me eating pasta. She wanted to eat it too. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially when you're coming from restriction like she was in ED. So she's like, saw me and she's like, I'm hungry. I want to eat the pasta. Pasta's delicious. So that's when the cooked food started. And I didn't notice any major weight gain in the first few months. I kind of just maintained my weight. And then slowly but surely, I started getting these like extra rolls and like extra fat in places that I had never had fat in my whole entire life. So like my like waist right here has always been like a fairly small. And again, she wasn't doing raw till four. Remember that she was coming from ED. She was coming from anorexia. She used to be a, bal um, a ballerina fat that started to grow there to the point where I was like kind of embarrassed to wear a bikini at the beach. And I live in Florida. So we can go to the beach all year round. But to give you an idea, these are... So you can see that she's very, very weight focused. All right. Very, very weight focused. I was embarrassed to wear a bikini at the beach. And yeah, you can see that if you treat it like a diet instead of a lifestyle, then that's where your focus Some of be. the pictures from that time period. Now, I never took she full body fine. pictures at this time. Well, she says she never took full body pictures. So that's the problem, right? We can't even see... We can't even see these, you know, huge rolls of fat that she's talking about, right? So, I don't know. She looks fine in that picture. October 2013, 119, like. Trying to power through it. I was trying to get through it because that's what they what? tell you is. She looks fine. She looks healthy and glowing. <laughs> this is bizarre. Hang on, what? This is just what my experience was. Hang on. So, November 14, raw to, she's literally got alcohol in her hand and she's calling herself raw to four plus alcohol. She also said she did other things that weren't raw to four. So you can see this is an unfair misrepresentation on, of raw to four. And November 2015, eating more raw. Yeah, but this is what happens 
they gain weight. These individuals gain weight initially. Let's just pretend she was doing raw till four, gain weight initially from their past restriction, their yo-yoing, and then they get off the diet. They drop the diet before the weight comes down. Okay. Before their metabolism heals. And then they start under eating on raw, like she still is to this day. And then they lose weight, but then they gain again. And it's just going to be a yo-yo. I was not working out. As you can see in some of these photos, oh. I was still drinking alcohol. Like even if it was just on the weekends, it was still a big part of my life. So I Okay, so there you go. She wasn't she wasn't doing any exercise. She was getting smashed basically. It was a big part of her life. I can't blame it all on raw till four. I can't blame it all on raw till four. You cannot blame anything on raw till four because you didn't do it. But it was a good hitting video to make that and I, I find that kind of questionable of someone's character when they'll just make a video misrepresenting a lifestyle like this for views essentially. You know, to get views even though she knows it wasn't, she wasn't even doing raw till four. So it is disappointing. Um, summer 2014, 120 pounds. She, she looks fine. She basically looks like when she started, right? She looks like maybe even less weight than when she started as a vegetarian. This is so confusing. It was too many calories for me. I wasn't working out and this is what it led to. So she says it was too many calories for me. I wasn't working out. This is what it led to. Look, you need to get this through into your mind. Okay. You need to get this into your brain. If you are coming from semi-starvation, from restriction, from up and down, you know, weight like she was, then you are going to want to eat as much as you care for. Okay. And this is what I always promote that you never restrict yourself. And it's very, very important that you eat as much as you care for every time you eat, because this deficit, creating a deficit, this restriction, it does not work. Okay. It does not work long-term for health, for weight loss, for anything. You just got to stop it. Okay. And I see this everywhere, this calorie deficit, like forcing it on people's bodies it's not going to work for you. Okay. So you need to eat unlimited and you can of high carbohydrate foods. Yes, you can of the cooked as well. You know, if it's high carbohydrate, low fat, but I don't recommend that you go to town on these cooked carbohydrates and just eat it all day. And that's why raw till four is still a fruit based um, diet. And I always emphasize that you get enough fruit. I often say, you know, 2000 calories from fruit, but as, as far as weight gain goes, they're still going to lean out long term. Okay. Because it's not containing a lot of fat. All right. So you're going to get more satiated. There's more fiber. Um, and your weight is going to come down long term. But of course, I do recommend that you fill up on the fruit rather than filling up on the pasta. And, you know, the cooked carbohydrates, but they're not going to make you fat. All right. That's what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is your past choices made you gain weight. For the photos that I do have, I have some of my face like this one. Now, well, you might not be able to tell how much weight I had gained in this picture, but. Hang on. This is so bizarre. This is really bizarre. She actually, she looks fine there. She's obviously got a chin up like that. It can make you look chubbier. It's like she's really trying to make herself look chubbier. <sighs> she only started at, hang on, what is this? 506, 116. Like, <laughs> okay, so that's four pounds, four pounds more. This is really bizarre. This is real. You can see the mis misrepresentation here. So she, at this point, she's only four pounds more than when she initially started as a vegetarian. Look at my face now and look at my face then. Oh like, gosh. I could not get my face to look like that right now if I wanted to. It was just so swollen and puffy. You, you, were, you were younger. Hang on. Swollen and puffy. Her face looks healthy. She honestly looks healthy to me here. So I don't know, you know, and she's comparing her face like years later. So... And she's only four pounds more than when she's big. So at my heaviest during raw till four, I probably got up to about 120. I probably got up to about 125 pounds. Okay. So is that even true? Is this a photo from when she started as a vegetarian or is this a photo from her raw till four time where well, she didn't actually do raw till four, but what she's claiming to be raw till four. Is this even the photo from then? Because 
she looks the same, basically. And it's like, how many pounds is that? One point, she started at like, so that's like nine pounds. <laughs> Is that like nine pounds? 20 to 125 pounds. Now I started at 116. I went up from there. So I only. No, but you didn't. Yeah. Gained about 10 pounds from the place that I had started. However, that yeah. was still a lot of weight. I'm only like. So she, she just said she only gained about 10 pounds. Like, and that's the thing. I don't even know if that's true or not, but let's just pretend it is. But she's trying to show these photos like she gained so much weight, but she actually looks the same as when she started, when she was vegetarian. But as I say many times, you can gain weight initially and 10 pounds is not much at all. So at my heaviest during Raw Till 4, I probably got up to about probably. 120 to 125 pounds. Now okay, so she says probably. So she didn't even weigh herself. And she said it was maybe one, 120 uh, this is really like, and that's, and that's four pounds more than what she started at. And how do we know this picture here is even from her raw till four? She didn't do raw till four, but you know what I mean? Her, the raw till four time. You know, this could have been when she was vegetarian. We don't even know. Uh, this is very deceiving. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm glad she deleted this video because this is very deceptive. Um, but like I said, I had to address it because a lot of people remember this and a lot, and actually a number of you asked me to do this video. So she didn't weigh herself. She's really trying to make herself look, look fat there, but she looks fine. She looks totally fine. And her 125 is just a guess. She even said it could have been 120. So she, it's like she didn't even gain weight at all. <laughs> it's like she just ate more food and her glycogen tank was heavier. She had more glucose. <laughs> And um, she weighed, you know, about the same weight as a dump, like heavier. So it was about a year ago that I started to really kind of switch the way I was eating. I stopped eating as many potatoes. I cut out the pasta. Okay. I lowered the rice intake. I started doing more veggies. All right. So there you got it. She restricted her calories. So she started restricting. And that's what these women always do. They go back and forth. Restriction. Um then they do the binge out, then they restrict again. That's They know this model. It's been taught to us. I've done it myself years and years and years. It's like head butting the wall. You know, it's like doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It doesn't work. And that's what she did. She restricted, started restricting. So a year ago when I started all that, I probably got down to about 113 pounds maybe. So I was definitely yeah. starting to slim out a little bit just because I was just more conscious about what yeah, because she was under eating as she is doing to this very day. She's still stuck in this under eating mentality because she is scared of eating too much fruit. She thinks there's something wrong with sugar. She is scared of the sugar. You heard it from the last video. So you can see what's happening here. And then in January, as a lot of you know, I went raw, just straight up 30 day raw challenge. Like, let's make this happen. Like I wanted to try something different because I knew that even in the beginning of this whole journey, that two weeks of raw made me feel amazing. I dropped weight naturally. I just felt really, really good. And so that was five months ago. And I now weigh about 103 to 105 pounds, somewhere in there. I feel amazing. I still, she looks tiny there. Look, so it's pretty obvious to me based on what I've seen from Kate that she was under eating on raw and she lost weight. Okay. Yes. Raw is healthier. The frugivore diet is healthier. I'm not going to mince words here. It is healthier. Okay. It's always going to produce better results long term because you aren't designed to ingest that cooked food. You know, you're meant to be having raw. Okay. But these cooked carbohydrates are still not going to make you fat. Okay. Sure. You might gain weight initially. We talk about this all the time from the ED, but that will come down in time as you've seen from a number of individuals who have been long term raw till four and they've lost a lot of weight. So she was under eating to lose weight. Eat a lot of food. I'm just barely starting to work out in the last two months. So I lost that weight without any exercise. Yeah, yeah. So that's another point to make. She was sedentary. I don't recommend you not doing any movement at all. You should move your body. It's healthy to move your body. So, okay. So I'm going to leave it there. You can see what's going on here. All right. There's a number of issues with this video. It is misrepresenting raw till four. And I know it was kind of like trendy to jump on that bandwagon at the time and just make those videos because they got a lot of views. 
you know, because I worked really hard to get the lifestyle out there. And these like, you know, Marotta for Made Me Fat videos got a lot of views and it brought a lot of tension to their videos. She actually probably gained a lot of subscribers from making this video. So that is the first issue. It's not made from a place of um, it, there's an agenda. Okay. It's pretty clear there's an agenda because if you have a look after we've watched this video, it's clear she wasn't doing raw till four. She wasn't doing it at all. She was drinking alcohol. She wasn't following the program. Um, she wasn't even moving her body, exercising or anything like that. Not that you have to do a whole lot of exercise or anything, but of course it's healthy to move your body. Um, then we look at the weight gain photos and you can see here, August, 2013, 116 pounds. And then she only ended up, like by her own admittance, like gaining four pounds, <laughs> like a, a, a poo, basically. You know, she gained like such a small amount. You know, she said maybe 125 pounds. She didn't even weigh herself. She did not weigh herself. So, like, how does she know she was even 125 pounds? Like, can you see like the misrepresentation here? And I'm glad she removed it, but not before it got like, I think, hundreds of thousands of views, unfortunately. And then people just go away thinking, oh, see, raw till four doesn't work. It made, made her fat or whatever. And next point is she's coming from eating disorder. She was coming from anorexia, from being a ballerina, from restricting. And she had a yo-yo body, body weight um, to the point uh, when she found raw till four, she was already on the gain. And then she started eating freely and she you know, obviously we gained a couple of pounds. Yeah, this is just, yeah. So you can see um, this is a video that is very disappointing. I'm glad Kate removed it. I'm disappointed she ever even put it up. Um, but yeah, that's in the past and I support her. If she wants to do a fruit-based lifestyle, I will be here to support her, to do it properly. Um, but I hope she doesn't then make a future video like she did with this debunking kind of like regretting fruitarianism where she probably misrepresented even fruitarianism in that video because she also took that one down so kate i hope you can say like i hope you can be more honest you know more honest and have integrity with the videos that you upload because this one is very it's deceptive it's and it is dishonest anyway so don't worry if you're gaining some weight on raw till four. Like I said, the first couple of years on raw, even for me, my weight was uh, fluctuating a lot. Okay. Long term, you are going to be a lean bean on raw till four and you can eat unlimited. But I do recommend that you focus on the fruit and you don't save up your calories for dinner. You don't have like like a huge cook dinner and ra rather than, you know, more fruit during the day. That's not what I recommend. That's not what I recommend in raw till four, but I still want you to eat freely of the, those cooked carbohydrates because they're not going to make you fat. Okay. It's just that you might not feel the best if you're having more cooked than raw. All right. That's my video for today. Uh, let us know what you want to see next and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to go fruit yourself.